Hi, my name is John Henkel, Pro AV Product Marketing Manager at Netgear, and I'd like to review today our top 10 tips for AV over IP network design. Now these come from the team who designs AV over IP networks, our awesome Pro AV Engineering Services team, who field all the emails and calls around the world for AV over IP network design. They've seen just about every kind of install and have been there and done that. Number one, use approved switches. Now make sure to use switches that have been approved and built for Pro AV, AV over IP, like our M4250 built from the ground up in look and feel and operation for AV over IP, as well as our M43 and M4500 switches that all have the abilities and often case out of the box functionality for working with AV over IP systems. Number two, get training. Many organizations offer free training, such as Netgear. Check out our Netgear Academy. Also, check out the SDVOE Academy, who offers some great information on not just SDVOE concepts, but general networking and AV over IP fundamentals as well. And don't forget Dante's Audinate training as well. Number three, find out the requirements. So the first task in any project is really to find out the answer to two questions. Is quality king and is latency tolerated? Now the answers to those questions will help you determine the types of encoders, decoders, the 1G or 10G and even the brand to uh, help determine what's right for the situation. And also it will help determine the uplinks required and the speed of the switch you need for your installation. Number four, simple, do the math. Make sure you have the proper uplinks for your system or you will have problems, guaranteed. So you wanna do that math first and make sure you have the proper capabilities in your switch and the other switches involved in your installation. And that way you'll uh, have the proper headroom as well for your installation. Number five, use VLANs at a bare minimum Create one virtual local area network or VLAN for control and another for AV. The better practice is to create a separate VLAN for each type of AV signal. So you'd have one for Dante audio, let's say, and a separate one for your other types of video signals. And number six, remember the ports on a switch are full duplex, meaning if you have a 10 gigabit port on your switch, it's 10 gigabits both directions. Number seven, QoS, quality of service, is not magic. Now, if you don't design your network correctly and you have a bottleneck, you will have sound and video disruption no matter what you try to do with QoS. Number eight, design in scalability. When designing your system, remember the network costs are far lower than the cost of traditional infrastructure, like HDMI cables and things. So that allows you to be able to build in some flexibility and some expansion for future growth, like our 96X switch that is modular. You can buy it with only half the modules now and add modules later on as you expand the network. It's been a lot of discussion over this point. You wanna create a dedicated AV network. And we suggest designing a dedicated AV network for the highest performance and the lowest latency. Now, AV and IT really aren't meant to converge on the same IT network with AV streams traversing the IT networks. However, you can always connect the AV network back to the IT network for control, but keep them separate. Design your AV network separate from the IT network and your IT admins will thank you for that. And number 10, use quality modules. Now, a lot of the switches have SFP ports, those small form factor pluggable ports that use transceiver modules. You wanna make sure you use the highest quality modules to make sure your AV over IP installation is the best with great audio and great video. So reliable proven transceivers are an essential part of every installation. Don't forget that tip. So here they are again. Number one, use approved switches. Two, make sure you get training. Number three, find out the requirements of the project. Do the math. Use the VLANs to help segregate your traffic. Remember, the ports on a switch are duplex. QoS, quality of service, is not magic. You want to make sure to design in scalability. Also, create a dedicated AV network. 
separate from the IT network. And last but not least, use quality modules in your switches. And of course, the most important tip is contact us first for free before the installation to verify your design plan so you're better safe than sorry. How do you do that? Simply email us at proavdesign at netgear.com. It's proavdesign at netgear.com. You can download the PDF at netgear.com slash top 10 tips, all one word. Or for more information in general, check out netgear.com slash proav. Thanks so much for watching.